Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the comfort of my backyard. I want to thank all my supporters this year, my new and my old. I wouldn't be where I'm at without you. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your December 25th through uh, December 31st weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading, but we will see what comes up. Now this is a general reading, it is not a private reading, so some of it may resonate, some of it may not. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Keep getting by twos. That's crazy. That's got to be a message. Twos. Faith. Have faith and trust. Because everything's been coming out in twos. I mean, like three times it happened. Well... So far, it feels like you guys have, uh, you put a lot of work into something. You have, you put a lot of work into something and you absolutely need to have faith at the end of this month because sevens are faith. And, the, and remember I said, and twos are faith too. So look at these two sevens, the first cards. I just happened to see those. So yes. And I see like a separation of some sort is on the horizon. horizon. A separation from something. Doesn't mean it's a partner. I'm not sure we're going to get into this. But there's some kind of separation because there's lack of passion. This is the Ace of Wands reversed. There's lack of passion, lack of growth. You know, it's time for a change in course. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. So it's telling me that something isn't panning out. You know, it's not bringing you anything positive. You know, it's not turning out the way you had hoped. And you're just about ready to give up. Okay, you're about ready to give up. You've had just about enough could be involved in a third party situation or maybe somebody's just not really communicating with you you know they're not willing to compromise you know they're not putting in any effort in the relationship you know there could be it could be a false foundation but somebody is holding on by like a string you know you're holding somebody's holding on by very very little to the situation they're trying to stop it from crashing from from breaking apart Maybe you're trying to advert a breakup, you know, trying to, uh, uh, what's the word for it? Son of a gun, my mind is blank, blank, blank. I can't even talk. This is the first reading that I, that I have not been able to speak in, so that's interesting. Trying to stop a breakup from happening, okay? But the fact of the matter is, with this chariot card right here, you know, you've put in a lot of effort. You've really nurtured this situation, you know, you've... You've given a lot to it, you know, but it's not, it's, it doesn't seem like your ships are coming in. It doesn't feel like it's really growing, even though you've put in a lot. But this tells me that it's time to move forward, okay? It's time to move on because there's a lack of growth. There's a lack of, of uh, passion here, okay? It's time for you to master your emotions and head in another direction, Okay, this is it's time to put yourself in the lead and to move forward. Okay, because right now there's a lack of balance. Somebody's not giving equal amounts to a relationship. Okay, they're just not giving. 
All right, and now, and this is a separation. It's, it's this is like a cut. It's it's time to cut something out, okay? Because it's, it's not growing. It's not getting any bear better. It's like nothing is happening in your favor. It's like they're not giving up, like even half as much as you are. Yeah, another seven, 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 seven. You need to have faith. You need to have trust. And it appears that somebody is not telling the truth. There's some, this is the lies, deceit card. You know, and this one kind of is too. I mean, there's something going on here where you're being lied to. You're being deceived. And the fact of the matter is, is it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to accept the truth. Somebody's in denial. There's lack of clarity here. There's confusion. It's like somebody's in, 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 in denial in this situation. It's time for a change of course, and it's time to complete this. This is a completion, but, you know, you're just not doing it. You're still holding on by that string, that thread, you know, even though this person is not reciprocating. They're not. They're not giving you the love that you desire, and I see that you're looking for more. You're looking for that divine connection. You're looking for that magic, and the magic just isn't here anymore, okay? Now, you know, it's affecting your self-confidence it's affecting your self-esteem it's affecting your self-worth and you know it's time for you to bring that back you know i you want balance in your life but this situation is not helping it it is time to get your life back on track it's time for you to to take the lead in your life it's time for you to use your inner wisdom to get through this you have it you have it it's time for you to bring stability back to your life and to make the decision the hard one it's you have to be the boss of your life okay you do with these two cards right here it's 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 absolutely time for you to take a stand but there's lack of confidence here but the thing is is that to bring the ultimate abundance to your life you have to take a stand you have to be the boss you have to be the leader you have to bring the structure back you have to accept the truth you have to stop being in denial denial is the basis of your reading somebody is in denial time to follow your own path it is time for you to believe in yourself and have faith in yourself and trust yourself and love yourself You don't want this breakup, whatever it is. Could be a job, could be a lover, could be anything. There's some kind of break that needs to happen. It is. Some kind of separation needs to happen. And you're growing weary. And you're starting to have doubt. And you're so close. You're so, so close. But you're still holding on by a thread. And the other person, it's like they or or situation it's like they don't even put in half as much as you do okay they don't it's like they don't they don't even see the future they don't they don't it's like they're sneaky they're lying they're saying whatever they need to say to keep you on that thread on their back burner there's no more progress <laughs> There's, where's your integrity? Where's your self-respect? There's lack of self. This is this is self-respect and, and nobility and progress upright, you know. And it's an, and right here it's reversed. There's there's lack of integrity, lack of self-respect, lack of self-worth. You're not making progress with this person. Somebody has been deceitful, you know. And I believe that you could have an unexpected choice in love. This is an unexpected choice in love. This is when you think somebody else is the one or some situation. Can work either way. You think that's meant for you. But the fact is, it's not. And that's what this card means. Wherever you're at right now, there's lack of passion. There's lack of growth. There's lack of a new start. It's like you're going nowhere with whatever. But this is here to say there's a new opportunity that could be coming in. But be it, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. If you stay where you're at, then that's where you'll be. If you move forward,
it would bring about some freedom. It would bring about some freedom and you would no longer have to juggle with this other person. You would no longer have to play games. You could feel like you loved yourself again and somebody would actually love you. This is love. This is the queen of cups, the queen of love, okay? So if that's what you're looking for, then you have to really pay attention to your choices, okay? Because this is about choices. It's time to make a choice. Do you want love? Or do you want to stay where you're at? Do you want to keep holding on? Do you want a new opportunity? Because this was reversed. This is this is a new opportunity upright. But it's reversed. It's all in your hands. Do you want to stay stuck? Do you want to keep juggling? Do you want to keep having chaos? Do you want to keep playing these games? Do you want to feel like a victim? Do you want to feel stuck? Do you want to stay in denial? Do you want to have confusion? Or do you want to step outside of your comfort zone and find love? The end of this month is unfortunately about accepting the truth of a situation. And at this point, you're being offered it, but you're not listening. You know, and this sword is being pointed at the ground. It should be pointing up above at the heavens, but it's pointing what's in the ground lies. The devil is below. Heaven is above. Okay? It's pointed down. What does the devil bring? Lies, deceit, trickery, karma, you know, bad stuff. It's time to take a stand. The end of this month is about deciding about and making a choice. Do you take a stand? Do you move forward? Do you have faith and trust in yourself? Do you have respect for yourself? Do you have confidence? Where's your confidence? Where's your wisdom? Where's your, where's your courage? Where's your discipline? Where's your strength? Because right now it's lacking with that reversed. A new opportunity awaits you should you decide to accept the truth. Somebody's not putting in half the effort you are. And you are at your wit's end and you are about ready to quit. But you're just hanging on. And I think the end of this week, at this end of this month, the end of this year is about realizing the truth. Oh boy, look at that. Is that what you want? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. If you want great love, you have to make the right choices. Oh my gosh. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that great love, which could come in should you accept the truth. If you're single, if you're coupled, then there's a chance for a renewal. But communication is needed. And I do see a split. So if you're coupled, I mean, I'm sorry to tell you this. There is a split. There is a split for somebody that's watching this. And it takes somebody walking outside and stepping outside of their comfort zone. Stop feeling like a victim. You know, I'm freeing themselves from a toxic situation where somebody isn't putting in the effort. But you have to make the effort in regards to your own path, in regards to your own life. You have to take a stand because this other person will string you along as long as you let them. about self-respect and self-worth where is it we're gonna move on now new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings there's a good chance of it all you have to do is cut the cord 
that last string. Sever it. Cut that string. And let the new person in. So, Aquarius, it's about accepting the truth at the end of this month. Okay? Talk to you later.